Hey guys, Professor Prime here at MajinPlanet.com and today we are taking a look at a couple of figures. Actually, this is a toy haul video kind of. So today I went to Ross and the reason I went to Ross, I actually didn't record any footage for like toy hunting wise, even though I'm classifying this as a toy hunt find video. But essentially I wanted to prove a point. I'm part of a couple Facebook groups, Transformers and just like, you know, just toy groups in general. And there's always people posting uh, pictures of finds that they got at Ross. Like, hey, I found, you know, a Transformer for like stupid prices, you know, like, you know, a mass, not a masterpiece, but like a, like a leader class figure that normally retails for $55 for $15 stuff like that and so usually when i go to ross it's very very some like i go to ross i used to go to ross a really really long time ago to buy stuff usually not toys though. i usually do just to buy stuff to flip on ebay to resell really it's what i did i don't really i don't do that stuff anymore it's it's just to me it, it took up too much space and too much of my time in any case i went down there actually because i was like i need to see if they have any cheap bluetooth headsets for my computer so i didn't have to wear my headset all the time just something like really quick that i could just plug in and everything and so that's the reason why i was down there and i figured well you know i might as well go check out the toys while i'm there and as you guys can see right here one of the first things that i found was this black series princess leia this is princess Ar this is from new hope you can see it is princess leia from a new hope the now it says twenty dollars and that's take their was price with a grain of salt but i can tell you right now that this figure would retail in target or walmart for about 25 dollars. so getting it for 4.99 was a steal i don't know i'm gonna open her because right now I don't really have any Star Wars displays for figures. I have a couple Black Series figures and they're all still in the cases. Princess Leia when she's in the white dress from the end of New Hope or, or Star Wars depending on how old you are. Some people still call it just Star Wars. So I did get this so we'll put her off to the side here. Now I found this. Now this is from My Hero Academia. The only reason I bought him and I mean one it's three bucks and again this would probably retail in the store for probably anywhere between 12 to 15 dollars depending on the time. I got him mainly just an access piece for my My Hero Academia little display cube that I'm slowly building up. And I don't have that character represented, so I figured, you know, he was a cool character. It's four bucks. It's it's not going to break the bank. So yeah, I got that. When I say there was a, a lot of good finds there, there was a quite a few different like anime statues. Now, I don't know how big this is. It doesn't really say this is, I think the brand is Vibration Stars. It says Rock Lee. And, and so I don't know if it's both of them but i think it's just naruto uh there was some demon slayer stuff there but they're mostly like side characters that i if i'm gonna collect statues i usually collect statues of main characters i don't really go too far into sub characters i did get this because i am gonna start building a naruto little display usually when it comes to anime i usually either do sh figure art or i do statues or a combination of two i usually that's about as far as i go uh, so and it doesn't matter to me that the articulation and all that stuff so like i got this so i thought that was gonna be i thought it was cool it is super cool little statue so and again statues like this usually run anywhere between now this is $21 and it was $14 and I don't know the quality of the statue and I haven't looked it up yet to see what the price is I'm gonna actually gonna look it up and have it like price on the screen where you would get it at right now I'm super excited to like I will be doing an unboxing video of this guy and the last thing that I got which are some transformers now I'm actually not gonna open up any of these and there's two reasons why not because I'm going to resell them and my Beast Wars collection is all chug figures it's all all kingdom and these are all legacy so not not that these are basically just the same the same it's the same figure line they just switch the packaging from war for cybertron kingdom to legacy so that's the only difference between these releases and the previous releases but i also already have each of these figures these are all redeco the first one here and again they were all like eight bucks these normally retail for about at the time of release of these these were about i think 22 dollars and i think they're now 25 but don't quote me on that but for the most part these are legacy if you were to go buy these at the store right now they are $25 a piece or legacy uh deluxe classes so $16 which again that's also low balling it would be 25 so yeah this is essentially Cheetor this is Night Prowler and I already have Cheetor and I already have Tiger Tracks and it's the same mold so I don't really need to open up another one but I did get it because it is a cool figure and eventually like I'll depending on how like you know life goes if I ever get a bigger place I will definitely have a larger Beast Wars collection which then I either will open them or I will just leave them in the box but I will 
will use a heat gun. And I'll show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna make a video on how to do this, how to remove labels like this without actually damaging your box. So I'm gonna have a video of that coming up pretty soon. So yeah, and then this one I already have. This is uh, this is Sandstorm, but I already have Scorpion. And this is a redeco, which is a repaint. Didn't need it. The box is a little dented up, a little dented, but I mean, that's something you can't really, you know, it's not a huge deal to me because I don't really plan on reselling this, but I got it because, you know, it was eight bucks. And, and at first when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's Waspinator. I, I already have a Waspinator already. No, this is a buzzsaw. And as you can see here, it's basically the same. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is the exact same old. But again, I I, I bought this. I, I'm, I prefer, and these are old. And this is how I know these are like the first wave because they've got the plastic top here, which is interesting. So these are essentially the Kingdom toys, but they just rebranded the boxes. But it's the same box because the new Legacy toys are open. So I thought that was interesting that these have plastics. I don't really recall ever seeing Legacy toys in the store with this plastic. I thought they were all open. Really interesting to me. Unless, unless this was repackaged, I, I seriously doubt they'd go that far, being it's a discount store and all that. But again, it's labeled as $16. They retail at $24. But yeah, guys, that's basically everything that I got at Ross and my little toy hunt. Again, I apologize for not recording any footage of that said toy hunt. I'm, the main deal was I was quite literally going in there for a Bluetooth headset, which I ended up getting. If I don't include with the Bluetooth headset, this cost me about $65. These two right here, that's $50 right there just for two Legacy class Deluxe class figures. The statue is probably $35. And then this is uh, the Hero Academia little toy figure is about $25. No, sorry, $15. And then the Black Series figure is also $25 as well. So this would have cost me easily $175. So I saved about $100 getting these. So if you're a toy collector and you're not too worried about quality of the box because sometimes the boxes can be dented up and if you're not worried about getting older figures and if there's like maybe some figures you might have missed out on you might find it ross check out ross i think marshall's has them too i think aldi's has some as well there's a lot of discount budget stores out there that will pick up a lot of old stock from like retailers and stuff like that like walmart and target they or even hasbro themselves sometimes they just have a lot of stock sitting in their warehouse that retailers don't buy and they just they send out the discount stores that's usually how it works uh they did have some of those Naruto figures. They had like a they had Naruto, but I think it was Naruto when he had his shirt open, like the, his you know with the with this uh, like he, oh, it, like I think it was when he fought Garak. But it, anyways, it doesn't really matter. And there was Akshay the Gara, but it was Gara from the time skip, and there was a Sakura from the time skip, and I think there was like one or two other Naruto characters, like obscured ones. But they were all fifteen dollars a piece, and again, they weren't the premium. They weren't SH figure. It's it's like they're like the ones like that they usually see at like Walmart and Target, like in the toy sections. You know, they're not the SH figure art versions. They're the $20 version. So there was a couple other figures that, you know, I saw there that were pretty decent. You know, there were some Disney figures from like, I think some other Disney lines or something they had a while back. And there was some other cool uh, there, no, nothing that I was be normally interested in. One Marvel Legends figure there. It was an older one, it was Siren from the X-Men line. It was again, $15. And I said to myself, that's about what, I mean, now they're $24, $15 is still not low enough for me to buy it. Had it been $10 or even like $8, like this black series, or even, I was surprised as I was surprised Leia was five dollars. I mean, I don't think this was a bad figure. I mean, it looks it looks like her, and those were the only Transformers they had. I was only gonna grab one of them, but then after I walked by a second time, I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna grab all of them because <laughs> I was mainly looking at the not. I mainly was looking at the the statues, like the Demon Slayer statues, but none of them were any of the main characters, and I was just like, but just not was just not for me. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to check out this video right here. And as always, guys, until next time.